Check one, one, two, three. How's the levels? One, two, three. <coughs> <clears throat> How's your levels now? In case you were wondering, the stash is for Movember. Okay, let's talk about the trip. How it's been, what we found, what we've done, how long we've been out here for. I started my journey on Vancouver Island, jumped in my truck, put all my gear in. It's pretty cool once you finally get down here, you know, all those hours of driving, once you finally get into the Utah desert, you know, it's, it's like a kid in a candy store. I've said it once and I'll say it again. You know, Utah is just a freaking maze of wicked terrain and riding. We started this trip with the intention of searching out some sick zones, that has some really progressive riding, big mountain stuff. I've been in this country for a week. We've been driving around and in central Utah, thinking, man, you know, I got a lot, of, a lot of road to go, a lot of places to see. I've seen a bunch of places already, but nothing's really come into mind in terms of a place where I really want to settle down and get out the bike and really shred. But I just know that there's going to be a couple of good zones right around the corner. So here we are middle of the desert and obviously the trails ended here and we see some pretty spectacular zones and scenery in the background here but for uh, for myself to ride it, it looks like pretty knife edge you know all those ridges they're, they're pretty skinny and they're, they're winding back and forth It'd be fun to ride but you wouldn't be able to ride it very fast nothing's really struck out and said hey this is the spot yet so we're gonna keep on trucking week two driving around more road Utah, Utah, Utah. More Utah. More Utah. Finding lots of good zones, but nothing that's really striking me as the spot. Week three, I end up stumbling upon this zone right beside this little town. It's pretty much the sickest zone I've ever been to. You know, upon laying eyes on this spot, it was kind of like, whoa, that looks awesome. Well, we're just hiking up this line here that I uh, spotted down from our campsite. Looking up at this ridge here, and it looks like uh, looks pretty good so far. It doesn't even doesn't even look like I've got to do any work to this one. I was uh, half expecting there to be a gully or something that I had to fill in, but I think this one might be au natural. Oh yeah. Here we are on the uh, the lines, bit of a crux coming off this little knife ridge. I wanted to come off here, so I just got to see if. Uh, be able to roll off it or I'm gonna have to send it off. This is just the beginning of what it takes to come up with these zones that we come to to film for these big movie parts. It's not just the driving around, the scoping, the scouting. It's, a, it's something that it takes a little bit of time to realize okay yeah that's rideable, that's not rideable. You know a few years of coming to these landscapes and trying things out and sometimes they work and sometimes they don't but pretty cool to and really go out and explore because you know for me exploring really uh, it's fun. like this and scope out these zones and, and have an eye for like big lines and jumps and hips and stuff. This is kind of the, the trials and the tribulations of making a big trip happen. That's what we're here for. Come down, scout the land, check it out. Made the call. This is the spot. Called all the boys, got them all fired up, and got the troops to coming. <laughs>